Good morning, people. It's your local buddy, Justin. And I'm here to ensure that we are doing what we can for the public and to promote the growth of all living things in our beautiful rainforest. But today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to spread mycelium to other places because we're losing our um, cyanescence patches, which are uh, used to be really formidable, like everywhere, I should say, um, fruiting abundantly at this time of the year. This is peak mushroom season for all mushrooms. And I just want to, to educate people. And so what you do and educate people on like what to do, you know, I mean, this is pretty sad, you know, but there are spores on there and from where this came from, You know, there. This is this is what's called a stipe, a butt stem butt, a stipe. This is the stipe, but really sad, isn't it? You know that this is this is really all that there is here. Um, I was really lucky to to find and and do do that uh, little experiment. But what you can do is you get yourself. Let's see, where are they? Hold on a minute. Haha, <laughs> here we are. Wood chips, alder wood chips. So you get some of these, and you don't need a lot. You get yourself some cardboard. You don't need a lot. Write it first. You don't need a lot. So you can get yourself. Um, so there's so many ways to do it. I mean, you can make an LC out of what you have. Uh, you can make, which is a liquid culture. Um, but the best thing that you can do is find yourself some of the mycelium, some of the, just a couple. If, the, if you only see a couple mushrooms just leave them because they're trying to they're trying to you know they're trying to um <laughs> they're trying to prolificate themselves and it's just not happening this year and this is such a great year for the rain and the temperatures and everything have been fantastic so uh yeah, so what you do is you take that little part with the wood chips that I showed you, this little this little bottom part here. It's got wood chips all connected to it. It's fuzzy. And, you know, we're just uh, learning how to prolificate these the right way. You know, I'm keeping these under some napkins right now because I don't want them to get too contaminated or anything. But you take your wood chips, you boil them in a pressure cooker, which I have here. It's full of stuff. Pressure cooker. And I recommend to <clears throat> put tin foil all around your, your syringes and whatever you're going to do. If you're going to make a spore print, do it on tin foil. Um, make a spore print by cutting the cap off, taking the cap, put, placing it on top of tin foil per lift will sterilize. You can do that in the oven by putting it in there for 10 minutes or so. Let it cool down, put your cap on it, put a glass on top of that, and then you will uh, get a beautiful spore print. Then you take that in front of your 
your fan, uh, what they call a laminar flow hood, which I don't have. However, I've managed without one. And I just wanted people to know, stop tearing up the patches out there, guys. Come on. you got to get real here. This is really, you know, one of my favorite things every year. I used to come out every year and I'd find, you know, all kinds of cyan essence, all kinds of, uh, the only, I think I've even found some Azure essence down here. Um, there's been better years. There's been bad years. Like the last two years have been terrible, but however, you take some cardboard, you take some, <clears throat> you take some wood chips, um, you get them at Ace or whatever, and then you can put them in like, put your, put them in something like this. Well, it's kind of got some brownie stuff on it, but you can put them in something like this. Make sure there's some drainage holes. Put your cardboard in here, wet the cardboard, heat it. Well, you can actually boil the cardboard. Boil the cardboard and, <clears throat> and the wood chips together. That way, the wood chips... Um, water will soak the soak up with the cardboard and then you just keep it in a little terrarium and watch how fast it actually will prolificate sorry will pr prolificate and we will know that uh we're doing what we're supposed to do now you can <clears throat> do this with chanterelles. You can do this with so many different types of mushrooms. Um, the wood lovers, you know, the, the um, oyster mushrooms, uh, stuff like that. And I will continue to make these videos and I'm going to try to shorten them up because I think the last one was 22 minutes. But um, if you're interested, <clears throat> you know, hit me up on this channel and I will go through a little bit more on how to make a liquid culture tomorrow so number one once again what we do is we'll take the bottom butt end of the mushroom cut it off but don't always pick them like that leave them underground when they're growing leave the bottom part underground unless you're gonna cut unless you're gonna cut that off and put it in some cardboard that you've sterilized or uh, pasteurized at 160 to 170. Um, usually kills most of the bad bacteria. And then, um, but if you if you want to, you just put wood chips in, in your um, sterilizer and just sterilize them. I mean, it's not a big deal either, but um, they'll probably colonize a little faster. Anyway. I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still here. My name is Justin, and I am here to say, save the cyan essence in Humboldt County. Save the cyan essence. Listen to my videos, and I will tell you how to next year, hopefully, have more mushrooms. All right. That's Justin signing out. We will talk to you guys soon. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I don't get too many people at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm just up and I'm bored, getting ready to go out on a hunt. But it's just not been, I mean, with all the rain we had and everything, it should have been just a kick-ass year. But unfortunately, it's not. I don't know why. And maybe I'm not looking in the right places. But, you know... All the ones, <clears throat> the, the South Jetty and all that stuff, man. It's it's through. The people have picked it out, man. I mean, uh, there there's probably a few little tiny patches out there. But, man, it's just not worth going out there and trudging around. There's ticks out there. There's all kinds of wild little mice running around making nests in there. And a lot of the times I would find cyan essence in the nests that the mice would build or the rats or whatever they have down there because they pile up wood and then inside those nests. But I don't even see the nests too much anymore. 
And the place down there in Samoa, when you first get into Samoa by the cookhouse there, guys, people, you're tearing it up. You're killing it. You're killing off what you're looking for. It won't be there next year, man. Get get with it. I mean, yeah, it's under the ice plants and stuff like that. Don't go over there just ripping up the ice plant, man. It, it's just ridiculous. I don't understand people. I really don't understand it. Anyway, good hunting. We'll see you next time.